out here today, y'all. We got the Glorilla. We got Bishop. Glorilla really starting to put some size on. We got Linky. She looking a little dirty. She loves running around in the dirt. Well, we got our females right here, two, two of the female puppies. That's gonna be coming online real soon. Little real about 60 pounds, six months. And then we got Athena. Got her back up to 74 pounds. Trying to get her to 80. This Merle, we're trying to get her to 80. And we're trying to get her. We just want her to, to 60. Now she grew really fast, y'all. <laughs> Real fast. As you see, she's trying to bite everything. Look at that. The thing is fast. But this is where. Watch out. This is where uh, exercise phase of the game. So our dogs have pretty much grown their bone mass. Now we just skip the exercise to help their joints build correctly. And just help them get low coordination and muscle mass. You see Athena. Pretty heavy for a seven month old dog. Now this is the month where we're gonna kinda see if we're gonna have giants or just regular sized dogs. I'm not too concerned about my females getting that big. As long as the structure is there. Because I already know what's in their bloodline. Like especially Glorilla. She got that. She got some big, big, big dogs in her blood. And Athena got some big names. You know, big thickness. in the bloodline. If you look, Athena's already longer than, <laughs> longer than uh, Bishop. They over there eating stuff they ain't supposed to be eating. <clears throat> but yeah, just got these girls out here. Just let y'all see them, update them every day. Come here. You know, they're in their little stage right now. They can't really put on no weight because they're just growing. Uh-oh. Get that boy. He always wanted to be the star of the show. gonna put some size on y'all she loves to have fun she might not be the largest dog but she got the best she got a lot of attitude with her a lot of fun just like bishop a lot of good wholesome fun you know what i mean a lot of good wholesome fun like i'm not even telling him to do this he's just doing his thing Enjoying himself. And Glorilla, she's enjoying herself right now. 
technically Glorilla is five months old for another mm, another what is it like four days she was a very big pup I'm starting to think though like when you really overfeed them as pups it's not as it, it doesn't do what you think it's going to do they grow fast, but then their bones grow fast. And then, you know, you got the overgrown bone, which gives them through a linky, you know, just feeding them too much makes them grow too fast. But you see what she's up to. You see what she's gonna be on. This is a female. Just as almost thicker than Bishop, really thicker than Bishop, technically. This is a long dog, and she's gonna get really thick. I think that will. Oh, Bishop is giving this tree a nice trim, and Athena is. <laughs> Bishop have the same type of like, just mind frame. Troublemakers. It was really hot today, almost 90 degrees basically. Mm, hitting that thing. We have our bullies are, are well not all of them but most of them they do something strange and they don't need no change you see her that's a five month old puppy y'all just to keep that in uh, perspective five month old puppy five months you know, she's not gonna be the biggest or the baddest pup dog. But she got that chocolate tri gene. And she got that BGK blood. So anything I breed her with that's bully is gonna make bigger bulls. She just loves to destroy things and shoot things and have fun. Believe it or not, she's the smallest of all her siblings. So, you see those legs? She, she gotta get the legs running. That's what we out here for. That's what she's missing. She hasn't been getting any exercise. <laughs> see how she's built, a five month old dog. Everybody that get a pup from co-op, man, y'all gonna be real pleased. Y'all gonna be real pleased. Notice how he's doing this, but, you know, and he's not a mean dog. He's just having fun. Watch this. Bishop! Come here, boy. Bishop! See that? Called him right off. Get that bishop. Get it, boy. When I tell him to hit it, he's gonna hit it. Bishop, come on. Athena, you want Athena? Go ahead. Athena's, you know, she has the potential to do the most work out of all the dogs because she got a, a, a nose on her to breathe. These dogs are just blues with an attitude. I'll probably give Athena a bowl of food tonight and put her outside in the cage. But she gotta do her exercise in order to, you know, really get the growth spurts and the growth going. Mm. Yeah, niggas coming out here on a four-wheeler. 
you know we in the hood. I think they see those four wheelers. She thinking. She see those four wheelers. Now you can get that stance off of her. Like you see what that stance gonna be like when she get older. Hood, baby, where it's always good. I probably take these guys down the hill real fast, get them some good exercise. Come on, yo. Oh, see him. This is a special dog. know a real real special dog if you get, if you get one of these joints off fishing you're gonna love it they got the four wheelers going man it's feeling good out here let me get these niggas get these you get the gut gut they out there doing doing the donut on four wheelers. Bishop ain't gonna stop. Guess I didn't need to spend that sixty dollars on that stupid ass thing. It's a long dog. But what's gonna happen is look at this. Don't worry, y'all gonna see these dogs in person. We going to a dog show. Don't worry, I'm gonna give her a, dog, a bowl of dog food tonight. We gonna keep overfeeding these damn dogs. Keep putting size on her. She's gonna be thick. Look at this motherfucker. Get out of there! Come on! Bishop does not want to stop. And you know Cray Cray right with him. They must have a shared relative. I'm gonna walk him a little bit more so we can get the bathroom break. Nina got a big old stomach. Come on! Come on! We got him out here. <laughs> got the four wheelers out here. I got my nigga strength. Come on. Uh, we at the second phase, y'all. We at the hill. Where, where it gets crazy at. Sorry, this video is all choppy. But y'all know what it is. We at the field. We at the hill. <laughs> got Glorilla trying to keep up. With Athena, they running hills, y'all. We on the football squad. That's one thing I can tell y'all, man. You get a dog from us, man, you're gonna have fun with your dog. Oh, just fell in the hill, fell in the ditch, didn't break her leg. And this is a short built dog, very short. <whistles> very short, y'all. I mean, not, not really, though. I believe she could be probably... She's probably about 18 inches right now. <whistles> Bishop. 
but she's happy and she's running. Just showing y'all how our dogs move, man. Y'all see how long we work, and we work for about a good 45 minutes to an hour. Obviously, they already been in the yard working. You know, this girl right here is 75 pounds, seven months. And this girl right here is close to 60 pounds. I mean, she's going to hit another growth spurt. But really what's going on now is her muscles and her joints and tendons and her coordination all had to catch up. And she got sick. And when she got sick, she lost some weight. But she back. Like I said, I don't have to really worry about the bloodline of my, I mean, the size of my dogs too much because the bloodline is just, uh, it's crazy, all the blood that's in here, so. I made these joints with anything nice. Made them with Bishop or made them with, with King. And we good. You see we out here just working. They running hills, y'all. <gasps> but it's really cool right now. <gasps> We don't really work in the summer, like I said. I mean, way, way back I used to work in the summer, but I stopped. But, I mean, these are our puppies, so I kind of have to work them or they won't grow properly. <laughs> She's just all top heavy, just all top. eating stuff she ain't supposed to eat. She has the softest fur ever. And she has a great attitude. We're gonna run these dogs a little bit more. I'm gonna walk them. I know y'all like, why is he zeroing in on that blue dog so much? That's glow, y'all. Her father, her grandfather's on 200 pounds. I know a lot of people say that don't matter. And you know what? It don't matter. Welcome to Baltimore City, baby. We got some damn pyromania kids, man. They keep burning everything in the neighborhood. They don't realize they burn their own shit up. And I mean, I, I can't be mad at them. Me and my brother used to set fires when we was kids, man. But the shit that these little kids do, like, look at this shit. These kids, I can't be mad at them because, I mean, we did the same shit when we was kids. But I don't think we would have burnt down the park that we fucking play on and chill on. Look at this shit. These niggas set this whole shit on fire. Like three times. It wasn't satisfied until it burnt all the way down. And the funny thing is, shit just smell like burnt ass tires because that's what this ground is made out of and burnt thing. The crazy shit about this is, now they ain't got nowhere to hang out at. So they did the, I mean, they destroyed their own shit. We used to burn down shit too as kids, so I can't be too mad at them. But damn. First fire wasn't enough, they had to start like 10 more. So whoever's doing this shit is the real live motherfucking 
pyromania type motherfucker that's gonna grow up to burn down a motherfucking church or some shit. They got fucking problems. I'd have never did no shit like that. One fire is good. But they got three full five fires. And you see how long we've been out, y'all, with these puppies, man. They grow so fast. They grow so fast, man. We got another bitch coming in from Boss Man Vlogs, Bishop's daughter. So hopefully, man, we can get these bullies popping. <laughs> Don't worry, when we want to put the real size on these joints, we're about to bring the big dogs out. About to show you how King and fucking um how King can run with uh Milan. There's some deer out there, y'all. Sit, sit. We're gonna see what they gonna do. Boy's head is almost as big as Milan's head. Almost. It's probably not a good idea for me to sick him on those those deer. But it's fun. Hopefully he don't hurt. Let's sit, nigga. Hopefully he don't hurt himself. The deers are over there. Sit. Uh-uh, sit. See, he ain't trained yet. Sit. Don't go after them deer. So he went. He gone. Go get him. She gone. They going after them deer. Look at him. He's on it. If he hit a hole, boom, he hit a hole. <laughs> Got me lying going towards the people, they're scared. <laughs> the kids. The kids think the deer, the dog's coming towards them. But the dogs ain't thinking about them. Ooh, they almost caught a deer. I missed it. They almost had him. Got a dog, kid barking at the dog. Just scared of him. So he ran in that hole. They don't know, King don't know what they are. King will go after them. I mean, every day, this dog, is, the King is getting bigger. Look at him running with that big dog. Can't really hit the zoom because the zoom be messing up the video. It's a big ass dog, y'all. Even this run. See this exercise, all this do is get him right. Now, I'm gonna be real with y'all. He out here running like, like he a Connie Corso or something. Full speed, full throttle. Then he eat. Hey, I ain't using the bathroom, man. We in the hood, baby. Fertilizer. I got him on a strict diet, you know. They can pretty much eat about three times a day right about now. You get it about a pound of chicken or a pound of ground beef each day. You know, a lot of people want their dog to be the biggest dog, and I don't want my dog to be bigger than your dog. I want my dog to be as big as he can be. 
you know? It take three years for your dog to become bigger than the, you know, like some big dogs out there. It's gonna take three years for your dog to become big enough to really go up against the big, big dogs. So, for the first year, for the first two years, your dog is essentially just a puppy. Take these niggas. It's all about how hard I want to run these niggas. Eating this damn grass. You see that chest getting thick on them. Almost 90 pounds, basically. Any day he could just decide to grow. And that's what the exercise is for. There's a difference between letting a dog wrestle around in the yard, which he does all day. So you gotta think he got one, two, three wrestling partners. If not, my wife don't put him out there with another guy, really four, but let's just say three wrestling partners. Then he got a running partner. This guy can run. And these guys are not bred to run. They're bred to be so big and fat that they can't run. But we're gonna get them right real quick. <gasps> Eating the grass. I don't know really what they get out of that. But probably some kind of nutrients. Use the bathroom out here. Less stuff for me to got to clean up. Oh, it's late night. About nine o'clock, probably. Yeah, I mean, just getting some footage, man. Just getting some footage, man. Showing y'all every step of the way where that king is going. Every step of the way. Every time you see King, he's gonna be better and better. Always something to improve on. I got the tallest dog out the litter, which means he got the potential to be the biggest. I mean, he's already using the Connie Corso as a chew toy. And the Connie Corso was like, I believe she was like 80 pounds at one years old. 80 or 90, I'm gonna just say 80 to be on the safe side. She's about 80 pounds at one. And she grew to right now, she's probably like 110. She doesn't get that big. You could feed her and get her fat, but it's the perfect size for her. I gave her, she had a bowl of food and three big ass pieces of chicken. It's time for us. You know, I might get a good run out of these guys. Because I'm going back to work this week. But let's see what they do over here on this field. Well, going back to work. 